Shabbat Shalom, heaven on earth. There is always the temptation amongst those who are religiously inclined to express their religious lives internally or in seclusion. Thus we see the trend in Judaism of those who would spend their whole life studying in yeshiva or in other religions, people becoming monks or nuns. All of this is done in the name of trying to achieve eternity. But Rabbi Naftali of Rokchit, the Hasidic Rebbe, has a different take. He wonders why, in this week's Parsha, Yaakov wants Esau to sell him his birthright, which is Esau's share of their inheritance from their father. Rabbi Naftali is confused because his understanding is that Yaakov and Esau already divided up the world, Esau would claim everything in this world, and Yaakov would claim everything in the world to come. So what does Yaakov need from the material things of this world? Well, Rabbi Naftali explains that Yaakov knew that he couldn't get to the world to the come, you couldn't achieve eternity, without performing mitzvot in this world. A mitzvah unlocks the spirituality within the material world. For example, a piece of bread can just be a piece of bread, but if we say the hamotzi before we eat it, we can transform that piece of bread into a connection with God. Yaakov wanted Esau's birthright so that he could have every opportunity to perform mitzvot with the material world, so that he could transform this world into the world to come. He could make heaven a place on earth. I look forward to seeing you this Shabbat at TRZ, Friday night at 5.30 p.m. for Tat Shabbat and 7.30 p.m. for Shabbat Sing, and then Saturday morning at 9 a.m. And don't forget our Thanksgiving interfaith services, Monday night the 19th at 7 p.m. Shabbat Shalom.